hello students today i'm going to talk about the migraine and its management through yoga and naturopathic interventions migraine is one type of headache which is characterized by unilateral throbbing and pulsatile kind of headache which lasts from 4 hours to 72 hours so the global prevalence of migraine has been estimated as 14.4 in both the sexes compared to the men women are more affected that is about two to three times more than men so there are many treatments available for migraine the first choice made by people is conventional practices and people are nowadays aware of the side effects of these conventional medicine which are taken for a chronic or long duration so uh, uh, people are looking for different types of different modalities or complementary alternate medicine so one among them is naturopathy and yoga intervention so let us look for the risk factors for migraine so age is one factor as the age advances the incidence of migraine is increasing family history uh, family history is uh, contributing for migraine headache and gender female are more prone because of the hormonal imbalances especially during the menopausal age medical illness certain medical illness people with certain medical illness are more prone to get migraine especially like diabetes hypertension and uh, stress disorders like IBS psoriasis they're all associated with migraine if we look uh, for the triggers of migraine headache there are various factors contributing or they trigger the migraine headache so one among them is stress and anxiety so stress is going to have a overactivity of sympathetic system which uh, activates the neurotransmitters uh, which can cause the inflammation or uh, vasodilation then which can lead to stress then continuous exposure to fluorescent light that also can lead to trigger the migraine headache lack of sleep so sleep is a good sleep is an indicator of good health so when there is deprivation of sleep it is going to be an important risk factor for migraine uh, sufferers and certain medications long-standing intake of medications especially the antidepressants also can lead to uh, migraine then some very strong smells like perfumes or oil or odors can also trigger the migraine headache then excessive intake of caffeine uh, or certain uh, excess intake of uh, junk food and lack of water like uh, dehydration also can induce uh, or it can act as a trigger for migraine there are different types of headache so one is with aura and one is without aura so what are the aura aura is nothing but there is a prior to the headache certain uh, symptoms or sign which like uh, you know flashes in front of eyes irritation or uh, difficulty in concentrating loss lack of concentration so like this is with aura and some uh, type of headache without aura so different they, based on this there are different stages of migraine like you have pro there are four important stages one is prodrome headache then one is the stage of aura then the actual headache and then post stage so in prodrome stage the people per individual can feel uh, excessive yawning uh, which is an uh, indicator of imbalance in the dopamine and serotonin level and also there is a craving that is otherwise known as spica for salty foods uh, next is with aura the per individual can experience about the weakness or sometimes visual issues like uh, blurred, blurred vision or partial loss of vision uh, disturbance in the field of vision all these can be uh, seen in the stage of aura then coming to the headache stage actually there will be a very severe uh, 
pulsatile throbbing kind of headache which may be associated with irritation and also it may be associated with nausea and vomiting and also sensitivity to light and sound there is it's also known as photophobia and phonophobia photophobia is fear of light as well as uh, uh, fear of sound and it is followed by a stage called as post dromal stage just the otherwise known as the stage of recovery so here there will be a hangover feeling and the person may also experience extended fatigue so these are the different stages like again i'll repeat prodromal stage aura stage headache stage and also post dromal stage now how the headache begins how how it works what is the mechanism so actually headache is a diagnosis of exclusion when we go for a investigation we will not find anything abnormal even in mri or even in the blood investigation so what makes a uh, migraine is a big question so migraine originates deep within the brain so they say there is some changes in the uh, electrical impulses produced in the nerves there is a derangement in their conduction so electrical impulses spread to the other regions of the brain so it is otherwise known as abnormal excessive firing of the nerve impulses which is characterized by changes in the nerve cell activity and also in the blood flow which may result in visual disturbance numbness or tingling sensation as well as dizziness depending on the area of the brain involved so which eventually results in the disturbance in the chemical production in the brain otherwise known as neurotransmitters which can also lead to uh, the dilatation of the blood vessels inflammation of the surrounding tissues so finally it results in inflammation which irritates one of the important structure trigeminal nerve resulting in severe throbbing pain so let us see what are the goals of management one is to reduce the frequency of the attack and also severity of the pain reduce the disability improve the quality of life prevent the headache avoid medication overuse and also we have to educate and enable to manage their disease so there are certain set of questions to diagnose so when uh, one among them is the headache diary so one has to ask several questions in their diary that is uh, when the headache first started how many different types of headache you have because based on that we can also have the diagnosis how often one get the headache then so on so by whether it is associated the, with uh, nausea vomiting some special characters this is just for the differential diagnosis these are the key, key questions uh, whether there is a aggravating or relieving factor whether the individual is worried about the headache these are the certain set of questions so now coming to the lifestyle modification for migraine as i told in the earlier uh, beginning uh the there are so many interventions like including the conventional practice lifestyle modification should be the first priority to change or to uh, manage the migraine um, important among them are like dietary changes naturopathic remedies and yogic management so there are three aspects one is preventive one is immediate or uh, line of treatment next is promotive in the preventive aspect very simple uh, remedies which one can follow at home that is a simple water drinking around 2 liters of water drinking and then regular practice of yoga divided meals pray your mental relaxation and exercise minimum 1 one hour per day in the management aspect immediately when the person gets experience to headache one can undergo or one can practice simple ice massage take a ice bag fill the ice bag with the ice cubes and massage around the head and spine then facial steam which relieves the headache and simple packs cold compress or mud packs over the eye and then hot foot immersion take a half bucket of hot water and immerse both the foot in the hot water which will emit 
immediately relieve the headache then promotive we can have dietary changes and juice therapy so what are the food to be avoided so certain foods causes the triggering factor so aged cheese nitrate spreads chocolate alcohol uh, monosodium glutamate and some fruits uh, cold foods should be avoided so important uh, food which can be eat, taken by migraineurs uh, brown rice vegetable uh, which are uh, yellow in color and cooked green vegetables uh, cooked or dried uh, fruits like berries and cooked orange vegetables uh, some of the juices which will have a very good analgesic anti-inflammatory antidepressant and uh, rich in magnesium maybe ash curd juice carrot juice and also grape juice omega-3 fatty acids all be, uh, also can be consumed like flax seeds chia seeds walnuts etc some acupressure points simply can be practiced uh, point from large intestine meridian li4 li11 p6 and also extra one so naturopathic remedies uh, facial steam mud pack and hot food immersion then uh, regular one hour yoga practice will definitely give a better relief and we can also control migraine in a very simpler way thank you very much